Papa's farm. And so we're just going to show you a little bit about his farm. With his, uh, he has Herefords and uh, we're going to have a quick look at what it looks like. I'm sure you guys would love to see that too. This breed of Hereford cattle has been around for a long time. In fact, the first imports of Hereford cattle to the United States were around 1817. Today, the breed is available in many countries throughout the world. Hereford cattle are muscular, strong, and hardy animals. Many cows live and produce calf beyond the age of 15 years. The bulls are usually very calm and docile and they are capable of producing offspring to the age of about 12 years old. Hereford cattle are well adapted to almost all climates and they can perform well in tough climates and rough grazing conditions. So here we have our Jersey mix with Hereford. <clears throat> what we like about that mix is that uh, Jersey does like they produce a lot of milk and if you don't if you're not a big family you don't need as much milk so what we like about that is that the Hereford they don't have much milk they have enough for their baby most of the time but crossing it with a Jersey will make it uh, that you have a bit more milk but not too much and just that's just perfect and also when they're mixed I find that they have less disease and uh, yeah it makes the very quiet cow and uh, she's a very nice cow we, we really love we really, really like her and uh, yeah and it's the time of the year where everything is a bit muggy but yeah she's a she's a nice cow and she's missing a bit of patch of fur because they like to, to just scratch themselves against the branches and stuff, but she's, she's doing well. She, it's, not, it's not a disease or anything like that, so yeah. To milk a cow it seems easier than what it looks and um, so I never really learned I just looked at dad doing it so many times that I kind of learned how to do it so first you have to clean your, your the udder make sure everything is clean and then when everything is clean you can go ahead uh, put your bucket and then so how do you do that is that you go closer to the base of the teeth and you just slide down if you just do like that it won't do anything it will but not much so you just put more pressure on top and you squeeze the rest of your finger like so and then you can go a little faster you get doing it and you can go Time. Now she has small udders, small teeth, so uh, big hands might have a hard time doing it, but it's, it's doable. And then when it gets to a point where you can't get much, then you can some people will put a bit of milk on their finger so it slides better. Um, Dad says he doesn't like to do that, but yeah, you can just also like squeeze it down like that to the end when we're at the end of it. So for a cow like this by hand, it takes about maybe five, ten minutes depending on who's doing it. Dad does not take much time compared to me. Um, but yeah, 
And it's nice to have a very calm cow because not every cow uh, let themselves be done. And then I was a bit slow doing it, so now she needs, she wants more food in front of her. But you get the principle on how to, to do it. So hope you've learned a little bit. So once we're done milking the cow, we have our milk here that we have to transfer into jars. And uh, what we use here, some people would, would use a cheesecloth, but we simply use this nice little sieve. It's, it's very practical and when you clean it, it's easy and uh, it goes faster. And then we just use this funnel as well. So we just put this and then put that on top and, um, and then we just transfer our milk. So we're just using the sieve for the strainer, however you want to call it, simply to prevent any pieces of hay or um, any pieces of hair that could have fallen as, as we were milking the cow. So yeah, so once this is done, then we have our milk. Here's our little Penny. She's just laid an egg this morning. And now she looks like she's playing with it. But what she's trying to do is she's trying to get that little egg into the perfect spot so that she can keep it warm. You think, look at a chicken and you see them, they've got all those feathers and you think they can just put that egg wherever they would like and to keep it warm. but. If you look here on little midnight, she's keeping her egg warm, but you see they expose their skin. It's not the feathers, but it's their skin that helps keep those eggs warm. They pull those feathers back, which are just an insulating layer. So that way they can transfer that heat straight into that egg to keep it nice and toasty and able to hatch. They're good girls and we are so thankful for them. What would you like? I know. Mm -hmm. This, he has been here for a long time. Hey, hey sweetie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was God who at the beginning who caused the light to shine out of darkness. He is the light. It would be dark without him. He is the light of the sun, moon, and stars. He is also the light of every soul. But unfortunately, as it is written, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. He came as the light, but our nature prefers darkness. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continuously. Hence, for God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to guide the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. This is why he calls us to repentance and to be born again of his Holy Spirit because our sin separates us from the Father, because without the Lord Jesus Christ we are as a puppet in the hands of Satan, for we are in the bondage of sin, because the Father wants his sheep to hear his voice and to give us eternal life. So, if you repent of your sins and believe in and follow the Lord Jesus Christ, you step into his light and shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. It is a wonderful thing to belong to God. You have hope, and his path becomes your path, his promises your promises, and his light becomes your light, so that you then can also be the light in this dark world.